What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We got ourselves a Choice Band Swampert and Life Orb Latios team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Jan. Zan, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really do appreciate it. This team looks amazing and I cannot wait to get after it with these guys. Rocking out in our front spot, we got Talonflame over here as our Tailwind Pokemon. One thing that I would actually like different on this Talonflame is probably put Gale Wings on it, but Flame Body rocks just as well as his ability considering it is already fast enough. This thing is also holding Charclaw's item with Tailwind, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, and U-Turn. To the right of it, we got Tapu Lele. I love Tapu Lele with that Psychic Surge, Citrus Berry item, then Protect, Dazzle Gleam, Psychic, and Allies, which moves set. Nothing really too new. Behind the face cam, we got the one, the only Swampert. I'm hyped for this one because I haven't shown off Swampert just yet. Water Ground typing. Torrent ability, choice span with Rock Slide EQ, Liquidation, and Flip Turn. To the right, we got one of the best Pokemon in Series 7. We got Metagross. Metagross is an absolute monster. It's got clear body, so it can't be intimidated. Its stats can't get lowered. Weakness policy, you get you hit this thing with super effective move, it's gonna roll out and dominate. It's got a first turn priority move with bullet punch, meteor mash, zen headbutt, and protect. Bottom left corner, new Pokemon alert over here. We got Latios, Life Orb to be exact, with Levitate. This thing is going to be an absolute threat on the field considering it can hit so hard with the Dragon and Psychic typing. And if you get it in that Psychic Surge, it can do even more damage with its Psychic moves. It has Calm Mind to set up, Psychic, Dragon Pulse, and Shadow Ball for coverage. Then in the final spot, we got the boy Nihilego over here. Nihilego is, I think, is the last Ultra Beast that I have to show off. And excuse my pronunciation if I did get it wrong. That one seems a little tough for me. Nihilego, I, th I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty close or something along that but i'm gonna just be calling him jellyfish boy probably for the rest of the video it's rocket poison type with that beast boost ability black sludge and then move set of power gem sludge bomb dazzling beam and protect guys you want to try out the scene for yourself not the code is at the bottom of the screen but we're gonna get after it we're gonna go try to get some wins on that rank ladder with this swamper team First battle, we're sitting in Master Ball tier right now, and this guy has no new Pokemon, which I'm not a fan of. Like, yo, use some new Pokemon, have some fun with this game. But if I didn't shout out Jan already for making this team, seriously, shout out to you for making this team. I really do appreciate you sending it in. I totally forget if I did shout you out, so if I did already, you get another one. Hey, let's go. But <laughs> we're rocking out here. Let's see who should we go into. I kind of want Talonflame, obviously. Get that Tailwind. He has no Talonwind. We're going to need that speed. So we're going to get rolling with that. Um, I definitely want to bring Swampert and Latios, but I don't think I want to lead them. I might want to lead Tapu Lele with this. Get Lele up in there, or or who do we think he's gonna lead? We could go Metagross because it's gonna be clear body, and just get after that uh that what's it called? Oh no, let's go with Lele. Let's go with Lele. Let's go with Lele. We can set the surge. The intimidate won't affect him because he's uh because he's special attacking. So we're gonna go Lele here, and then we're gonna go Swampert, and then we're gonna go Latios here as our final spot. I I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Um, who can surf? Can anybody surf here? I'm thinking it would be, uh, if anybody, it's going to be the the Dragapult, right? Or no, he, he might lead Urshifu with the Colossal. Eee! That could be scary. That could be actually very, very scary. Let's get after it. You guys are probably one or, wondering or thinking like, yo, Jeans is wearing a hat. Yeah, dude, I really like this hat. I was like, yo, let me wear it for the video. Let's get popping with it. I really do like this hat. I got it a couple days ago. I've just been wearing it ever since, you know. You guys know the feeling when you get something new that you really, really like. You wear it all the time. So I'm going to be wearing this hat for probably some videos now. <laughs> But he's gonna go Incineroar and Colossal here. And I don't think Incineroar can proc Steam Engine, right? It can't proc Steam Engine and, uh. And, uh, what's it called? And the weakness policy? No way. This thing can't learn a water move like that. It'd be a little whack. But, Intimidate's gonna come out here. This is exactly what I thought was gonna happen. That's totally fine. I'm just here to set up Tailwind and then probably go into. Actually, do I. Hmm. This is why I wish I had Gale Wings here. Because he can just fake me out. Um, I might just swap here. I might just swap. He might go into a uh, rock move and try to dump on me. I might swap into Swamper here. Get him rolling here. Yo, look at these moves this thing can just barrel over. Keep Talonflame in here. Because all it takes is a fake out, right? And then he drops a rock, actually. We're just going to go for it. You know, screw it, man. Screw it. We're going to go here and we're going to go for that. Uh... Actually, we could go here. Let's go for an ally switch. Let's go for an ally switch. Even though the second. Actually, the second search here, he can't fake me out, right? But we are flying. I said we still go for the ally switch. Let's drop an ally switch here. Let's see how this thing rolls. We might Dynamax Colossal. Yep, Colossal's gonna get the Dynamax. And he's gonna go after my uh, Lele slot. But we can get this Tailwind off. We can be thriving really, really well here. Let's see. Let's see, baby. What you want? Colossal, obviously, getting that Dynamax. Can I'm, I'm a little confused here. Like, can Incineroar proc this policy and the Steam Engine? 
Like, that'd be nuts, man. That'd be something I've never seen before. An incineral proc in it. Well, let's see what he goes in the fake out. It's a terrain. Yeah, I, 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 I figured we didn't have to use that, uh, what's it called? The ally switch, but I used it just in case. He's gonna drop a rock on me anyway, so I'm totally fine with that. And what's called, should be able to eat that up, no problem. Lele, and then we can get in for it. Let's get it, yo. What you want, fool? Go ahead, drop that rock. Drop that focal lift on my Lele slot. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Lele eats, yo. Lele eats, baby. Now we have Ally switching his head. Now we have Ally switching his head. He doesn't really know what we're gonna go with. I'm surprised this dude faked out in this terrain. Like, dude, we are, like, immeasurable, dude. This is, like, top 10,000. So it's like, bruh. You, you making them plays even I know those plays and I make some dumb plays all the time <laughs> The vocal damage is gonna come through though, and we're gonna get rolling in this turn. We have the speed now uh, Do I suck it drop? I think I just gleam it and yeah, just gleam it and get it for since in the because I'm not trying to deal with it too too much Uh, Or I can you turn out. I really don't want to you turn out. I'm just gonna uh I'm just gonna roll out with talent play here. go with a, a brave bird start dealing some damage Cause I'd rather uh, Talon play maybe go down here and then we Dynamax either Swampert or Latios. I think we save our Dynamax for Latios and just have Swampert with that Choice Band rolling out for some big damage. But I don't want a Choice Band into a move and then come later in the game it was a bad move to Choice into. So that's why I like to save my Choice Band Pokemon for like the back end. But yo, Swampert might clutch up. He might clutch up with that Choice Band. He hits like a truck. He hits like an absolute truck. We're gonna get rolling here. Brave Bird popping through. Get him, dude. Do some damage. Gonna do a decent amount of damage, just a little bit. Nothing too special. Just figured I'd get something off on him, and then Gloom's gonna pop here. Yeet. He's gonna do a little bit over on that Incineroar slot. Incineroar's pretty bulky. He's a pretty bulky mon. Snarl's gonna come out here, and he's gonna lower our special attack, which is totally fine. As long as I waste out your Dynamax turns. Like, as long as I do that, we'll be thriving here. Special attack's dropping. Well, Town Flame, I forgot. Town Flame is already minus one on a uh, attack board from the Intimidate. Here comes another Vocalith, and he's gonna try to read another ally switch, so Talonflame lives another day. Talonflame lives another day. I could- oh, I could just- I think we just go out in the Swampert here. Right? Is that the play? Go out in the Swampert and just choice ban into, like, a liquidation? <laughs> and just run it? And then, uh, save our Dynamax for Latios? I'm thinking that's the play. Cause he should be able to come out here and one-shot any of these things. This is my boy. Let's get it. Um, let's see his other Pokemon. Water's pretty safe to go into, but I can see him having Rillaboom. I see him having Polt and Rillaboom. That's who I see him having, Polt and Rillaboom. Though, at the same time, that's tough. I kind of want to just go into an EQ. We do have Levitate. EQ's not a bad move to go into. It's Stab, yeah. You can't hit my Latios either, so we're going to Choice Band into that. And then I'm just going to keep Brave Burn across. Uh, is this going to be Policy? That's the real question. I think I think my guard, so. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. It's not guard. But so we're gonna be able to uh, definitely take out the Incineroar here. Incineroar is definitely dead. I ain't worried about it. Is this barrier gonna pop here? Hopefully not. It does not. EQ comes out. Talonflame dodges it and we get a double hit off here. Is this thing policy? I can see it being Oh my god, Swampert. Chill on them. Chill yo, we should have brave bird on that thing. If we brave bird on that, the thing's dead. We should have Brave Bird on that. Thing survived on one? Bruh! Out my face. Out my face. Yo, chill on me. Overgrowth. Oh, no. We're dead. We are so dead. We are so dead. We're dead. We're dead. God dang it, man. Dang it, dude. Bruh. Bruh, yo, Swampers hitting like a truck. But this game is not over yet. It's not over yet. We still have a Dynamax Latios. And we have Tailwind up. We can take out uh, Colossal, no problem here. Vocalist went damage, man. Which is a pain in the neck. If he has a he has a Pokemon with a first turn priority move. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Dude, Swampert hit like a truck, dude. I didn't think Swampert was gonna hit that hard on the Colossal. That did a heaping amount of damage. But dude, if we just would have Brave Bird across on the right side, he would have been dead. He would have been dead. We would have been thriving. We would have won this game easily. Now we have to struggle. We still have Dynamax. Shiny Latios coming out of there. And yo, dude, that teal color? Is that like a teal? That's like a mint green kind of. It looks phenomenal. Urshifu's popping. Which I'm fine with. Um, I think I just go into a Max Wormland. Or how do I play this one? Yeah, I gotta go after Urshifu here. Definitely Dynamax. We have the uh, Mindstorm. I might just Mindstorm just change the terrain back to my terrain. I think that's the play. So we're gonna do that. And then, uh, do we Brave Bird? Or do we Flare Blitz? I couldn't U-turn. We think U-turn's gonna take that out? Do we really think U-turn's gonna take that out? I don't think we died to, uh, recoil damage here. So let's see. Let's let's see how this rolls out. Like this game is not over yet. We can definitely clutch it up with Latios. 
But if we had Swampert on our side, like it's game over. It was game over if we had Swampert. Like if Swampert didn't go down there or if we took out Colossal, it's GG. So easy wins right there. But yeah, I'm actually glad to show off how much damage that they could actually do with this choice ban and its stab ground moves. And this team, a lot of them are levitated and off the ground, so EQ is a fine choice band move to go into. Let's see what happens here. Is someone going to de detect? This thing's just going to go straight for an Aqua Jet. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. That's fine by me. That cost is a pain in the neck. I really want that thing out of the way. Here goes my Mindstorm. Mindstorm should be able to take this thing out. Hopefully it's not Sash. I don't think it would be. It, oh, it is, bro, dude. This game's a pain. This game is such a pain, man. Now they're sitting here with two Pokemon on like one HP, and they're going to be able to do damage to me. Uh, Colossal's gotta go next. Colossal's definitely gotta go next. Pose such a big threat. Let's see what happens here. Here goes a Meteor Beam. Oh my god. He gotta charge us up. So I can take him out next turn. That's totally fine. He can't attack this turn, right? Unless he has a Power Herb. Alright, uh, so he's gotta go this turn. He, he's, he's gotta get out of the way. He's gotta get out of the way. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> I'm not dealing with a big fat Meteor Beam coming after me. And I think a Wyrmwind is just to play here. Just to lower Urshifu's uh, physical attack. That'll probably help us out in the longer run. So let's get after it. Wormwood coming out here. Colossal dead. Now it's actually a dumb play to go into the Meteor Beam. Because he has to charge that one up. That's kind of just like using Solar Beam without a drought. Or without the heat. But Urshfu's attack's dropping. I'm liking that thing. He's probably going to go into another water move. Try to get some stab damage off on me. And we're going to say, yo, dude, that's a tasty snack because you're minus one. Yep, certain strikes. That's what I thought. And, yo, we eat that all day. So I'm not really worried about that uh, the Urshfu too much. I'm going to be worried about his final mind here. We got one more turn here, and I could go into a, uh, I would rather go into a Wormwind, just to prevent that Urshfu from for doing any bigger damage. But let's see. Let's see who, who he's going to go. Is it going to be the Pole or Rillaboom? I think it's either Pole or Rillaboom. It is going to be Rillaboom. And do we see Rillaboom protecting? You going to set the Surge. Oh, you biscuit, man. You going to set the Surge? You going to set the Surge? But I do like her typing. I do like her typing, too. We could go for a Wormwind, but I'm just going to go for a Max Mindstorm. I kind of, no, we're going to go for the warm one. We're going to get that stab damage over onto that Robin slot. Get that minus one on that Urshifu again, and then roll from there. I can see the uh, Robin protecting. That would be the smart play. But at the same time, I see him maybe just going for a grassy guide or trying to get some big damage off on me. But if he protects it, I wish I would have went for the Urshifu. Come on, Latios, yo, you got this. I think Latios outspeeds them all. So I shouldn't really be worried about speed here. Actually, maybe Urshifu might outspeed you. Urshifu's not a... Oh, there we go. There we go. We outspeed. Worm went popping. Do some damage on the thing. Oh my god. Yo, Latios is the best. Latios is hitting like an absolute truck. We get a crit. That's why. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yo. Match one is going to go to your boy, Gene, yo. Dominating here. Doing some work with Swamper and Latios. Yo, these Pokemon are so strong. These Pokemon are so strong, yo. That's GG. That is GG. He's just going to start to strike. He's minus two. We're eating up all day. We're eating up all day. I need, I need a drink of my water, man. We're on fire. We're on fire right now. <laughs> now, my past two Pokemon recordings, we went 3-0, and now we're sitting at 1-0. and So, we're on a four-game win streak for recording, which is absolutely pretty dope. But, yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm a little stuffy right now. So, that's why my voice kind of sounds a little weird. I'm just, like, nasally right now. I guess my allergies are kicking in. I do get uh, allergies pretty bad sometimes. But we can finish off this match right here. Drop a little Psychic. I love its typing, dude. With Psychic and Dragon, it just rocks out so well. Can eat up a lot of shots. Like, especially Water Pokemon. Because Water is actually, like, big into the meta. Like, like, Water is just, like, one of the best typings in the game, in my opinion. It's just, it's just really good. So, it's actually really good typing for this meta and all that good stuff. Let's get after it. Come on. Yo, you really detect it. Like, actually, this thing might have... Oh, he's going to go for an Aqua Jet. No way. Aqua, Aqua Jet. No way Aqua Jet's taking me out. There's not a chance. There's not a chance Aqua Jet takes me out. Yeah, okay. I was going to say. Aqua Jet's not taking my boy out. He's minus two. Get out my face. I got you guys. This one's for you guys. Hey, yo, Urshfu. Out my face. Get out my face, dude. You're out of here. Let's go, baby. That was actually a pretty long battle. I'm looking at the recording time. That was pretty long, but it was a really good one. Want to know. We can hop into our second battle now. Not going to lie. I'm pretty scared going up into battle number two because of this Dust Glops and Glacier combo. We already know how much work that thing can do, and I don't really know how I can actually counter this up. But he also has Kartana. Pelipper, Incineroar, and regular Zapdos, which is a pretty cool choice. Um, who should I roll out into? I kind of do not think we need Tailwind, so Talonflame, you're going to stay out of here. I could go into Lele and Metagross. Maybe just Dynamax Metagross. Can I proc a Weakness Policy here? I didn't even look at my movesets, like, if I could do it or not. But I'm going to actually lead Metagross, try to get some big damage off. I think I'm going to lead, like, two heavy hitters. I think I lead two heavy hitters, bring Swampert and Lele in the back. Are we bring Lele? Yeah, let's bring Lele. 
And we'll get uh, Nihilego in the in the third battle. We'll get a big jellyfish dude, Jelly Boy. <laughs> I can't call him his real name. I cannot do it. Like, I already know everyone's gonna be like, yo, yo, Gene, yo, you're pronouncing it wrong. Your pronunciation's wrong on it. Like, bruh, get out my face. Get out my face. That's a tough one. Nihilego. I heard like different things because I look them up before I like get into the video. I heard like Nihilego, uh, Nihiligo. Like, it was all like different stuff. But Pelipper and Kartana is gonna get the lead. It's gonna get the lead for the fire. Okay, so that's fine. I, I I went with two heavy attackers here. I went with two big boys. Two big boys were not playing around. Okay, uh, the drizzle is gonna be popping. I could just... What do I want to do here? I could swap out Latios or I could Dynamax him. Get rolling with there and drop some Dragon moves. Meteor Mash, I do have Zen Headbutt. Which I have to go into. We're gonna go Zen Headbutt over on the Paloops. And then I think I Calm Mind set up. If I can Calm Mind set up, we're gonna go for it. If I can calm mine set up, we can just Dynamax and pretty much run this battle. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance. I'm gonna risk it. This guy's lead's a little, a little iffy too. Like my, I, my lead was a little, was a little whack. But his lead was a little whack too. I was just trying to counter up on the Glacier and Dust Cloud combo. But we get the calm mine boosting. We got special attack and we got special defense boosting. Sacred Sword's gonna come through from Katana. Metagross says, "Yo, dude, that's Tasty Snack you got there." Teleport's gonna scald over onto Metagross. That's totally fine. I'm trying to look for the burn. Metagross eats it up. Don't give me the burn. Bruh, dude, of course. But we do have a calm mind setup, which I'm actually very, very happy about. Then headbutt's gonna pop. And I'm gonna worm win probably next turn, take out the Pelipper, and then roll from there. God dang it, man. Metagross going down. We'll let Metagross just go down. Uh, we definitely Dynamax now. Uh, just in case this thing's Sash, we're gonna go after that. Like that. Actually, I think he maybe just takes me out here. So I think I just blow a punch and do a little bit of damage. And then I Dynamax and go for the worm win. Because we get the terrain next turn, I'd rather get the minus one on the Cortana right now. And just get after his Pelper. I think that's the play. I think that's 100% the play. Hopefully they do take out my Metagross. I can get out Lele, set the Surge on my own. Be able to do some big damage. But who did I bring? I brought Swamper, right? Yeah, I brought Choice Band Swamper. Yo, Latios. Yo, this thing hits like a truck. This thing hits like a truck. We are calm minded. We're plus one. We're rolling here. We're ready to go. My boy is boosted and he's got life orb ready. Dude, this team's fire. This team is fire. I'm really liking it so far. Full punch coming out. Hey. Try and do a little bit of damage. Just in case this thing might be Sash. You know what I'm saying? Before we do go out, I know they're going to probably take me out. Wormwind's coming in here. Let's get it. This should take out Pelper, no problem. Yep, Pelper's gone. Yo, no battery. What you mean? Do I have my thing plugged in? I do not. I do not have my cord plugged in. So I guess I'll do it next battle. So the battery doesn't die. But I swear, if I lose a battle because of my battery, I'm going to be mad. Smart Strike coming out here. Be baby, that's a steel move. Uh, Burn's gonna do a little bit more damage, and I'm just gonna take out Cartana here. He's minus one, or I can just leave it sitting there. Not even gonna lie, I can leave that thing sitting here. I'm surprised he didn't go after my Metagross. Glacier is coming in here. He's gotta go. He's got to go. I'm not dealing with that thing. He's gotta go. 100%. Uh, we're definitely bullet punch into it. And then, uh, do I mind storm? I think I just worm one start minus one on that thing. Just keep doing damage on it. He might Dynamax. Probably gonna Dynamax, that's my thing. Yep, here comes Dynamax. So we're definitely bull punching onto it because I don't want that Cartana just taking out my Metagross. And I'll give it another minus one. E yo, E! Chill on me, chill on me. We still do have our boy in the back end. We still have our boy Swamper just chilling in the back end. So we could choice ban into EQs to do some big damage on these Pokemon. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's see what you got. What are you gonna go for? We're going for this bull punch, trying to do some damage. He could be weak this policy. He probably is, dude. This thing's a tank. Yeah, oh my lord. There's no way we're taking it out. There's no way we're taking it out with a one win. There's no way we're taking it out, dude. I think Glacier, he's like, he's top tier, dude. He's top tier. He's been so good. He's been so good in this game. Like, he's been, like, a step above everybody else. Like, in his own category. It's nuts. It is nuts. Just Glacier. I haven't really seen the Ghost one as much, but Glacier has been popping. He's going to be able to take out my Metagross. He's going to get the Beast boost. No, he's still gonna be. I don't even know what stats gonna get boosted because it goes to his higher swarm. I don't think attacks gonna boost it. Oh, it does give it to attack. No, he is minus one, so Hailstorm's gonna take me out here. And it comes down to just it's my boy. This comes down to Swamper. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I can see Swamper clutching this up. This thing is grass typing. He is minus one, though, but that might just take out my Swamper, dude. If I can get off EQs and just start dropping him, <laughs> we have a shot. Here. But at the same time, it's like, bruh. Oh my lord, dude, this thing is so strong. It is so strong. I know everybody's having problems with uh, Glacier here, but... Oh no, we still have Lele. Oh, yo, ally switch into into EQ? I think that's the play. I totally forgot we had Lele. Okay, we're thriving. I thought we only had Swampert. 
Though we're not sitting in a bad spot because I think an EQ could just take out a could just take out Glaciary no problem. Let's see. I know Glaciary is slowest, but the one thing I really do gotta watch out for is this grass move gonna, that's gonna be popping out up against uh, Swamper. So, so we're definitely gonna go for an EQ. EQ is not super effective on Glacier. I thought it would be. Hmm. Do I just liquidation then? I feel like I have the EQ. I feel like I have the EQ. Just the ally switch. I have the ally switch. I don't want that grass move coming in here and just dumping on me. So Lele will take a hit here. Ally switch popping. Let's get it. No way you read the ally switch. No way you read that. Can EQ take it? I thought EQ was going to be super effective, so that's a little scary. Here comes the Leaf Blade. Ally switch really working well in our favor. No, it's not. G oh, he gets a crit. He gets a crit. Well, I was taking out my Swampert either way. My Swampert's my only shot. Man. My Swampert is my only shot. This thing's beast boosted now. So we have to take out Carton here. Hopefully we get a crit on it or something along those lines. Double kill. Nope. Nope, their team's tanking. Their team is tanking. Steel Spike comes out here. Leaf Blade will take us out next turn, actually. So that's going to be game. We need him to miss, and we need EQ to pick up the double kill. That's our only way. That is our only way. And I don't even think EQ is going to take out Clay now or Cartana because of the defense boost. But we're still going to stay in it. Actually, it would be able to take out the Cartana, no problem. Hmm. Hmm. We need it. We need we need EQ to clutch up. We need EQ to clutch up. <laughs> it's the only way. We need Cartana to miss this Leaf Blade, which I'm going to put a spell on it right now. Hey, yo, Cartana, you're missing this. And we need this double kill. Whack. This game's whack. Out my face. <laughs> this game's whack. One and one so far. Not a bad battle. I feel like Glacier came in there and kind of saved the game for them because we were calm mind set up. But we can hop to our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Third battle coming at you guys, and you know the deal. We're going for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We looking for it. This guy's got an old school kind of team with two new Pokemon. He's got Regilecki and Cartana mixed in with that Chlorophyll Venusaur with the Drought Torkoal, and then Porygon Z with that Adaptability and Clefairy with that, uh, what is that, Frangard? Yeah, Frangard over there. Uh, do I need Tailwind? I feel like we might need Tailwind here. It's a Regilecki that's fast. Cartana's not oh, pretty fast as well. We do... I have Talonflame, and Talonflame could dump on Cartanas easily. So I'm going to go Talonflame as an easy lead. I want to bring the Hiligo in the back for Big Jelly Boy. Jellyfishy Boy. He's Rock and Poison, which isn't a bad typing. We can do some work over there. Um, hmm. He's definitely going to be coming in the back. Who do I want to lead, though? I want to lead Latios. Hmm. I either going to... I definitely want to bring Swampert here. I definitely want to bring Swampert. The Swampert could just do work, man. Besides the Venusaur. Besides the Venusaur, Swampert's doing work all right. But I definitely want to bring Swampert and just have him in the back end. Uh, something that could do... Actually, we, have, we already have Talonflame that this work on the Venusaur. I kind of want to go Latios here. Latios just counters up a lot. It's pretty strong. Let's go Latios. We're going to go Nihiligo and then Swamp Skis. I think, I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Or do I want Metagross in here? Nah, I'm going to Thrive with this. We're going to get Thrive with this. We're going to Tailwind and we're just going to try to roll out and just do a lot of damage. Finishing off this battle and this video with a winning record. We're going for it. Yo, dude, this hat's so comfy, man. I'm loving this hat. I bought this at the store and I was so happy. <laughs> like, because I went to the store for like a hat like this and I went to a different one and I bought two hats and then I went back to a different store and bought a hat and then I went back to the old store and gave the two hats back because I got this new hat. <laughs> it was like, it's like a weird story, but that's exactly what happened. Like, I bought these two hats and then like five minutes later I went back to the store. I was like, yeah, I don't want them. Mwah, take them. I don't want them. Give me my money back. <laughs> He's gonna go call Fairy and, uh, and Porygon. Uh, do we really need Tailwind up? Um. Let me see my boy's speed. Let me see Latios' speed. I know Talonflame is faster than that Porygon. Oh, yeah. We're definitely faster than that Porygon. No problem. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Got adaptability, which is a pain in the neck. I'm going to try to burn this up. Porygon. Actually, special attacking. Point of point. I could U-turn out and save, save me look for later. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to U-turn out. And then I'm going to... Do I try Calm Mining? I don't think we try to Calm Mine. Hmm. We could. Actually, we are going to try to combine. We're going to do it. We're getting after it. We're trying it. Porygon does not Dynamax. He's just going to go straight for, like, Hyper Beam or something. We're going to be able to U-turn out, which is lovely. U-turn. Uh, and we should be able to get it off of combine before he even hits me. So, we're going to save our Tailwind. We got a crit, too, which is lovely, which is just dandy. Get back here, boy. And then, do we go into Hiligo? Mm-hmm. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And then save Swampert for the back. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get it. Bring out my boy Jelly Belly McGee over here. He is rock typing, so if he does go for a normal move on that slot, we're eating up all day. And it's shiny. It's like gold. It's like gold, which is amazing. 
Look at it, it has like hints of gold in it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's like a gold brim. He looks like he's wearing a hat, doesn't he? Trick him. Good thing we didn't go for a tail end. Uh, let me see uh, Jelly Boy's speed. Let me see Jelly Boy's speed. Jelly Boy, what you got, kid? What's your speed at? Let's see. 170. Okay, so we got a pretty fast senior. The good thing I did not set up the tailwind. I, I, I can't help us out in the long run. We're definitely going to drop a sludge bomb here. Uh, I think we got Dynamax regardless. And maybe set the terrain ourselves. Kind of want this terrain up. And we're going to go after his Borgon slot. Let's see what it is. Is he going to uh, Dynamax now? He is going to Dynamax with adaptability. Maybe we should double up into him. But follow me is going to come out regardless. I kind of already know that's coming. Uh, we do have our boy. He can't really go adaptability on our uh, what's called slot. Which I really like. On our Jelly Boy spot. Because we are rock typing. And it'll be not very big. So he is going to be coming out for my Latios. Which we are plus one in special defense, right? I think it goes special defense and special attack. Gives us. Is that what Combine is? I believe so. We'll check it out after this. That definitely helps us out. We're Calm Mind Boosted. Latios is getting the Dynamax for third battle in a row. And oh my god, yo. I just realized we lost our win streak in that last battle. No, we were 4 0 in our past four games. Now we're sitting at 4 1, which is still pretty good. I've been getting better at this game, which is actually really, really cool. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, I didn't even say this today. Head in the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. We stream three plus days every single week. Tons of fun. He's going to help in hand, so we could have doubled up into it. Which is fine. He's going to go for a darkness. Ooh, you crazy, man. You crazy. We eat that up all day, though. We say, yo, dude, that's a tasty snack. Now we're going to get after you. Now we are definitely going to get after you. And I could protect next turn, which I probably will. Let's see what happens here. Helping hand did help him out a lot. Life orb damage is going to pop through. Sludge bomb is going to roll. We got stab. I don't think it's going to take it out because this thing's a tank. It does, yo. Beast boost coming out. Yes, sir. So we're posing two big threats here. Two big threats. I think we uh protect the Latios here. And then we roll after the uh, the Porygon after us. We're going to mine swim here. Get our terrain. Do some damage here. Take him out. Oh, my. Hey. 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 That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. That one hurts a lot. Put him on one. He's legit on one HP. He's on one. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. All right, let's see who he rolls into. Let's see who he rolls into. Cartana, that's that scary mod right there. That is scary mod. But is Cartana faster than uh, Jelly Boy? And I have Swampert, bro. I do have Swampert. I could swap in my boy here. But if Nihiligo goes down, then we'll roll into our other one. Um, I think we just double up into the Porygon slot. Um, where do we Phantasm? Let's see if we just Phantasm over on Cartana. Let's see what Porygon does. Porygon might protect though. He's just gonna go for Darkness. I knew I should guard it. I knew I should guard it there. Man, man, man. Should definitely guard it there. I knew it! I even said that last, like, last turn that I should guard. But I was just like, let me double up in the Porygon slot. Which was kinda dumb. That was really dumb. Because if he guarded, then we were wasting a turn. The hell, Lego, go first. Okay, he goes down to damage right, like that. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. Gonna be able to drop a little sludgy. We need a poison. It doesn't even affect them. It doesn't even affect the smart strike coming out here. That's steel. But uh, is that super effective? Yeah. Jeez, man. Now this thing's beast boosted. Oh my lord. Okay. So no Dynamax is left. Um, Cartana's pretty fast. We still have Swampskis. Which is uh, which actually, Trick Room's gonna thrive for us here. We gotta get rid of this uh, this thing. So I'm just gonna where was I? I think I I can't protect Swampert. I gotta, I'm definitely uh, going into EQs. I'm going EQs into Flare Blitz. Oh, this one's going to be real close. This one is going to be real, real close. Talent Flame is popping. Uh, so we definitely drop an EQ. They're both faster than... Actually, Cartana is uh, going to be able to take out the boy here. Cartana is going to be able to take out uh, Swampert. Which is tough. And it's going to come down to a 1v1. It's going to... Actually, no. We win this game, don't we? EQ takes out Regilecki. No problem. Unless they're Sash. Unless they're Sash. This takes out Regilecki, no problem. Yep, Regilecki's gone. Yep, that's game. That is game, yo. Thank you for the trick room. We get a crit on Cartana. It didn't even matter. Flare Blitz is going to roll out here and take it out because he's going to go for a leaf later on Swampert. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Jeans coming in clutch. You turn town, Flame, coming in the back end. I totally forgot we took out his uh, Clefairy. I totally forgot about that. But, yo, dude, that's going to be GG. That was actually a pretty good battle. Pretty quick one, too. But, yo, town Flame coming in clutch. That was just... Full on attacking teams. We were going at it left and right, just dumping on Pokemon. Pretty quick one, but your boy ends up picking up the W and getting that winning record for you guys.
We rocked out with this team today, and I absolutely loved it too. It's so easy to play. It's easy to pick up and just get used to and roll it out. It's got that talent flame with the tail. When you guys already know about that, the Swampert's absolute beast. I was very surprised about Latios. I think it hit like a truck, especially when you set up a uh, Calm Mind. You just roll out and do some big damage. And then you got Jelly Belly Boy over here as a nice back end Pokemon who can hit like a truck also. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.